Hey, what's up guys? It's Supreme Thunder. Yesterday, as I'm recording this now, was the anniversary of my channel for a year. And one of the things I want to bring back is the RPG game. I did Sacred 2 when I first created my channel and did a let's play of that. I'm currently doing a hardcore Diablo 3 playthrough. So if you don't know, Diablo 3 came out what, maybe I think maybe around a month ago now. So I think it's a month in about two days time or something like that. And it's been really popular and I've been playing it quite a lot and it's been really good. So I've decided to do a hardcore playthrough of that. A hardcore playthrough means that if I die once, I completely die and I have to start all over again. So it's going to be really, really hard. I'm doing it with a demon hunter because that's my favourite class right now. And yeah guys, I hope you enjoy the series. Hey, what's up guys? It's Supreme Thunder. Today I'm going to be doing a Diablo 3 hardcore playthrough. Now for those who watched my Sacred 2 when I first did this channel, it's a game kind of like that, so it is a very good game, so I'm probably going to be doing a full playthrough, depending how high, uh, how far I can get. Hardcore isn't too hard for the first time through the game, but it gets a lot harder once you try playing it through a second and third time so I'm gonna see how far I can get but the thing with hardcore is if you die once you completely die you lose all your stuff all your gear and you lose the character so you have to start all the way from the beginning again so it's gonna be a pretty intense game but I think I can do it also, for those who haven't seen this game, I'm not going to skip anything, so any cutscenes, I will play them, and uh, I hope you enjoy the series, guys. My family was butchered by Hellspawn. To witness such a thing is enough to leave your mind in ruins. The madness killed my sister and left me frightened and alone until I was rescued. Rescued by survivors who had joined together to rid the world of the creatures of hell. They saw in me the strength to resist the demons. And they forged me into a weapon. Now, I am ready. A meteor has fallen in Tristram. And the dead have risen in its wake. send them back to their graves. Once I was hunted. Now I am the hunter. Only the so like I'm going to be using the fallen star is near. a demon hunter. I've played it a little bit but I haven't got too far with it so and at the moment it's pretty much my favorite one I did start off with a witch doctor at the start and I've hit inferno and I've kind of hit like a brick wall I can't get any further and it's really hard I have journeyed here to find the fallen star and purge its evil from this land it fell on the old cathedral there was only one survivor Leah you should speak with her Captain Rumford, more dead are coming. We okay, can't so we've got to defend this gate. Drive them back. They keep 
coming. I've never seen anyone fight like that before. Guards, open the gates. You'll find Leah at the slaughtered calf in. So this game is sort of like a dungeon crawler game which I do enjoy playing these because it's all about trying to get better gear so that you can get further in the game and that's where I am at with my other character. These books here they will give you XP but I'm not going to be listening to them because there's so many and all I want out of them is the XP. So for many years. And now there's no way to stop the thing, you just have to listen to the little bit at the start. Right. Let's go and talk to Leah. Leah, is it? Rumford said that you survived the Fallen Star's impact. I did. But it blasted my uncle Deckard Kane into the depths of the old cathedral. I tried to search for him, but the dead were already rising. I came back here to rally the militia, but watch out! The wounded are turning. Ooh, I think you got an infestation in your camp. Important. We hit level two. This is killing business. So this game's a point-and-click game. So it is the controls are pretty easy and basic. Just using one, two, three. Four. I've set it up because of I'm using a Razer Naga Molten, so I kind of want to set it up around that. The dead will overwhelm us all unless something is done. Then I shall put an end to them and secure your town. Thank you. You should speak with Captain Rumford at the gate. He can tell you what to do. Right. I'm guessing if we go back to the start. Sixteen militiamen went out. Only Rumford came back. Uh, have I got anything there? We never should have built on this. Okay, place. no. Maybe Kane was right. Even in death, the others won't. Yeah, as I was saying, so the controls are pretty easy. Literally one, two, three, five for me and eight for potions. And just left click what and right click. To help fight the risen dead? I admire your courage, but Captain Dalton and the militia were slaughtered by those things. Only I survived. Don't worry. I will avenge their deaths. Well, I have seen you fight. Strike at the wretched mothers and their queen. They're the ones vomiting out these horrors. They're attacking the barricades! There. That's one of the wretched mothers. There are more of them in the ruins down the road. God, this thing's not dead. So these grey items, you kind of don't want to pick them up too much getting into the game as they're pretty crap. You kind of just want to go for the blue and yellow, uh, yellow items. Which are like res and legendary? No, I can't remember. Whoa, there's a crawler. Um, I'm not sure what the yellow ones are. Rare. Oh no, ma yeah, the blue ones are magic, and the yellow ones are rare. Which you can basically, if you don't use them, you can disenchant and make better items once you have the blacksmith what the hell are those ok so I'm trying to find some old ladies to kill, I've killed one of them the old ladies who are chucking up on the floor where are they Um. Must be around here somewhere. Whoa. Where the hell are they? 
there they are, just chucking up over the floor, as you do. What's that? See, because I'm using a demon hunter, I can't actually... Eat. Well, you can use that, but it stops me from using the left click attack. So I'd rather not use that. I can can sell that, but probably not for a lot. Obviously, I'll take that for now. Also, all the cutscenes where my guy's talking, you there's five characters at the moment you can be. You can be a monk, um, demon hunter, barbarian witch doctor and a wizard and you can be a, like, a guy or a girl of them and they all have their own talking cutscenes which is pretty cool ah there's the last one and we hit level 3 and there are some shoes down there I need to get them You basically just want to get anything that will fill up these gaps to start off with. Oh, there's some magic. But it's got less protection, so I'd rather not get that. I will probably leave some of this stuff behind like that, because you just don't really need it. Well, my character doesn't need it. If you're a barbarian, then yeah, you're going to want to pick that up maybe see how good it is what's that the rumors of torture and okay another book get more XP for that all of these chests are empty now there is a Something bug here, right here where that thing doesn't run after you and it still works So anyone trying to find get any gold, you can use that. And on the higher difficulties, get some magic items off of that guy. For some reason, he didn't drop shit for me, which is a bit sad because I was hoping I'd get something good for that. You can always restart the game and come back into that and just do it again. There's another old lady who's just like chucked up her Cheerios on me or something, it looked like Cheerios what has she been eating? Old Tristram Diablo's evil still lingers oh, here God. throw a knife throw a knife not enough hatred oh shit yeah so obviously the, t the attacks take up these two things at the bottom I've got to kill this queen off She's got Cheerios as well. What I are you doing? Hatred to do that. I'm just going to explore around here. There's a couple more stuff. Get some more gold. Oh, what's that? I don't think I've actually been in this one before. Which is a first. What is that thing eating over there? Okay, I thought he was eating something. Oh, okay, he is eating something. Ooh, want the bow? I want the bow. Give me the bow. Hopefully, that should be a little bit better. And hopefully, there might be something in here. Well, I can use the buckler for now. Depends if this bow's any better. Yeah. See, I don't think. No, you can't. You can't use a two handed bow and a shield, but you can use a one handed and a shield. Uh, is that going to be any better? No. Right, let's just go back to this city actually what's in there 
No, I don't want that. What about him? He hasn't got anything. Right. Thank you for your help. But could you talk some sense into Leah? She won't give up on the idea of rescuing her uncle. Nor should she. I will help her find him. So we'll get some XP's. Come, let us search for your uncle. We'll need to open the cathedral first. The guards locked it up before they were ambushed. Rumford told me they fought their way back to Adria's hut. The key must still be there. Okay, so she's gonna follow me this time. I do know that there are a couple more books in here. So that'll give me a little bit more XP. This is my room. Do you like it? No. A miracle has happened. I but it's got a book inside it, so I will have it. You know it's not polite to go through other people's things, don't you? Yeah. But he's got a book we as well. Come at last. Why does this keep coming up? Right, let's go back through here. Here, let me open the gate. Adria was my mother, but I don't know much about her. She died when I was very young. I was raised by Uncle Deckard. What of your father? I'm told he was a great warrior who was lost when Tristram fell to the demons. Look, Ooh, I hid in the cellar. Follow me. 